Hey yo, LAZ, you heard Throwback Thursdays. This my bro Shug, double head of paws. This is how he got caught with a ratchet in Brownsville. And how he lost 20,000 to a dude in poker in green up north. And what took place after that, you heard? LAZ, Gen Pop gang in the building, Slim Blunt gang, Comment gang in the building. Let's get it. Rockaway and um, like right by the train station. What you talking they about, was, Rockaway and Livonia? Yeah, they was on Rockaway and Livonia, um, just sitting there. But I ain't paid them no mind. I ain't doing nothing. I got the music on. I'm just driving. So for some reason, them are behind me. And I wasn't paying attention. I ain't know they was behind me. So I'm just driving. I go in the um I turn into Newport Gardens, go up in the parking lot, I park the car, but when I park I got the gun on me. I got it out, like on my lap. Because um no matter of fact, I'm lying. I, I still had it in in the thing. And when I got there, I took it out because Niggas had been, niggas had shot up my man, KT, not too long before that. And we had a big bang out in Flatbush with the niggas, the niggas that shot him. So every day now I was riding around when I get, you know, close to the Ville, I put my shit on my lap or right next to me. And for some reason I took it out. And when I got ready to get out the car, I, I seen police. I seen the D's. So I tried to, I couldn't put it back in because my all my windows was down. So I couldn't put it back in the stash. So I just like put the shit up under my seat, got up out the car. And I like nothing. The nigga was calling me and I still was walking, giving niggas fives and all that. Nigga ran up on me, but he, he was plain clothes, but he was in a DT car. It was one plain clothes officer and a lieutenant. And the nigga was like, yo, yo, come here, like, give me your license registration. I said, for what? And I was like, yo, give me your license registration. You, you ran a light. Or whatever he said, ran a light or didn't stop for something, whatever. I'm like, yo, you lying. He was like, yo, give me your license registration. I said, first of all, that ain't my car. My license is right here. The registration is above the sun visor on the um, passenger side. So now you know the lieutenant ain't supposed to search your car. Mm. Only the officer can. The lieutenant nigga took it upon himself. And I'm like, listen, I don't give you permission to search the car because what are you doing? Like, I do, the windows is open. All you got to do is reach in above the visor and get the, um, the registration and all that. And the insurance card. The nigga ain't do that. He opened the door. He started searching. And he seen the gun on the floor on my on, under the driver's seat. Because there's like a panel right there. So it couldn't go all the way under. So the handle was still sticking out. The nigga, he, he called the officer over there. Whispered something in his ear. And I knew what he whispered. And them niggas walked up on me and just grabbed me real quick. So when he grabbed me. When they grabbed me and shit, I was like, yo, what the fuck y'all doing? Yo, and there was mad people outside, so now I'm putting on a show. Like, fuck y'all doing? Why the fuck y'all grabbed me? Ah. So everybody started getting riled up. Like, yo, why the fuck y'all grabbing them? The fuck is y'all doing? So now them niggas getting scared. So now they calling for backup. Like, yo, ah, we need backup, ah, Newport Gardens, da da da. So them niggas getting scared. So now my cousin and them coming. Everybody coming They're like yo uh, So nigga went in And He opened the door Went in and got the gun I was like oh Yo they fucking playing the, Yo niggas playing shit on me And all that So niggas <laughs> So niggas So niggas in the hood You know everybody in the hood Once I say it Them niggas start, Yo They trying to plant the gun on them Yo Fucking shot Yo uh. So niggas is going wild so now my aunt and them come in, all that. Like, yo, why y'all, uh, what y'all doing to my nephew? So them niggas, is, them niggas is really scared now. So they start backing out their joints. They start backing out on, on the family. So now mad 
like the whole 73rd done came in now. And what time is this again at night? Like this like Damn. It wasn't that late, but this is April, so it's still getting dark. Like around I wanna say about eight. This should be about eight something, maybe nine, but it could be a little earlier, but I know it's dark. So and but it ain't dark that long. I haven't been dark that long. So this is like about 730, 8, 830, no more than that. So now, everybody coming, the whole precinct there, everybody making a big scene, they calling SWAT, all that. <laughs> so now the whole the whole Newport Gardens is surrounded because they saying it's a riot. But ain't nobody did nothing. Niggas was just like, yo, yo, why the fuck y'all doing that? And them niggas got scared. And called in the riot squad. That's when I did that two years fighting that gun charge on the island. Damn, you was you was on the island for two years fighting that gun charge. Two years. Oh, man, that's fucking crazy. That's when you was that's yeah. when you was on our Psalms thirty five shit. Yeah, yeah. Niggas that's why when I was niggas don't know when, about that Psalms thirty five. Yeah. Yo, so hold on, so hold on, so boom. They that was the seventy third. Yeah. So they took you to the seventy third, and then what? They went. They took you straight to 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 the island. I went from 73rd, you, was on you know, parole? I went through the system. You was I was on... still on parole then. Damn. That was, I had been home at that time, three, I think, yeah, like three years. I just had made three years. Mm. Just had made three years, because it was April. Remember, we came home in April. Yeah, you came home in April. Yeah, I came home. Yeah, I came home. Yeah, came home, I, came home. I came home a month after you and me. Yep. But it's like so, yo, so they took you straight. You said you went straight to the island from. from, from nah, I went to um, I went to Brooklyn House. Oh, Brooklyn House was open. So matter of fact, you know what? After I went through the system, you know, I had all them bone bracelets and 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 um, bone ring and all that. So I told my moms, rest. You know what I mean? God bless that. I told my moms and my baby mother at the time. I told them, listen. Whatever, I don't know how much this bail, so they gave me a bail, 7,500. I was like, yo, before my parole officer find out, go pawn my jury, get me the fuck up out of here. So I can go like, see that nigga on my own. So they did that, they pawned, but they, they, they did the other shit. They ain't pawn my shit, they sold my shit and got the money and bailed me out. So I'm like, yo, I right, what, what, you know what I mean? Like, what pawn shot my jury in so I can go back and get it? It was like, no, it was Sunday, so we had to, you know what I mean? We couldn't find no pawn shot. We had to go to the one where you sell the jury, the diamonds. I'm like, y'all sold my shit? <laughs> like, yeah, like, that's all we had to do to get I you mean, out. Exactly. So I'm like, ah, oh, come on. So it was crazy is, that was Sunday. I got to go see the PO either that Monday or that Tuesday. They call, as a matter of fact, called me Monday to come down on Tuesday. I'm like, all right. I'm like, yo, yo, when I come there, you locking me up? You're like, nah, nah, I ain't locking you up. Nah, I mean, you know, we just got to get things straight because I heard it wasn't your car. Just, I'm like, yeah, nah, I mean, all right. As soon as I got there, that nigga turned me around, put the cuffs on me. Yeah, you going. Like my supervisor told me I had to. It's like, you lying ass nigga. You was going to do it anyway. That's when it, that's when I went to Brooklyn House. Stayed in there like probably a month, month and a half. And they shipped my shit to OBCC. And where did, where they put you the dorms or the cells? Nah, I went straight to straight to the cells. I went to um what the, I think four upper, some shit like that. What year was that? Yeah, that was what year was that? O two? Yeah, that was old too. Yeah, I was in OBCC in like 01 or something like that. But how that shit yeah. was when you got there? That shit was that shit was the worst. But <laughs> I mean, because you remember, I was still high classification because of my crime. So the niggas shit me straight to the cells. So when I got there, the girl that I was messing with at the time. Matter of fact, I wasn't even messing with her no more. But her cousin and them was there. 
they was there, some older niggas or whatever. One of them I had met already in um in Brooklyn House. So when I got to Brooklyn House, I should was I should was Staten Island House. Mm-hmm. All them Staten Island mad Staten Island niggas was there. The nigga um the nigga Toucan. I always remember that name, that man name. I remember him from the island in 94. Two K. Mm, he's from Staten Island. Yeah, yeah, so I'm from Staten Island. And um, it was like fuck. It was like three, four Brooklyn niggas, and like like about thirty Staten Island niggas. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so. So that shit was crazy. I stood there for a minute, and that's when they shipped me to OBCC. Went there, met up with Son. He from um, what, what, what's the projects? Um, that's half half Bed Style, half Brownsville, Kingsboro. Yeah, son from Kingsboro. Um, that was that was my ex girl cousin. He was there. Then I found out one of the other niggas that was. In Brooklyn House was his cousin. So I started fucking with them. And then another nigga that was in my house at OBCC, that was her other cousin. So I had three of her cousins with me. Then I started meeting, you know what I mean? Start meeting my niggas. Um, my nigga Old Navy from the Bronx, he blood. Then a few other niggas um, from Harlem, nigga Shice. Um, Ra, all these niggas is blood. Um, but they from um some from Brooklyn, some from Harlem. The nigga Hollywood from Harlem. I think he, if I'm not mistaken, he used to fuck with um Cam and them. And um I just started me start going around then I was at OBCC for like shit. Like 13, 14 months. And they shipped my shit out. But I went from four mate, four upper. Then they shipped me down to, no, I was in four north. That's what it is, not four upper. I was in four north. Then they shipped me down to one north. That's where I met my, my nigga, um, Buddha from the Bronx. So I had a body. He just, I came home not too long from four body and caught another one. Oh, yeah. Older Muslim nigga. I was my nigga though. And then um my nigga Zach from the Bronx. Buddha from the Bronx too. Then eBay came. He was in my crib. eBay from LG? Yeah. Sun came, then Rab came. So it was me, eBay, Rab. God bless the dead. Then um the nigga Pooch came. Mm. So I was like then I had got into it with this nigga, um, this nigga from, from, um, Marcy. Me and that nigga was, this is an old, it's an OG God nigga, but son like, son was a type diesel too. Son was, son, son was putting in that work. I already, after he left OBCC, he went to the Beacon. I already was knocking niggas out in the Beacon. But me and son was about to get it on, but, over the TV, beefing over the TV. I don't know what prompted it, what started it, but someone was like, yo, why don't you, so why don't you turn the TV? See, told that nigga, I was like, motherfucker, you don't tell me what to do. Fuck the TV. You don't, you want to get it on? Let's get it on. So, like, son know that I fuck with mad niggas, so he don't know who gon' like, pop off, who not. So them niggas, everybody come to me, came to me, it's like, yo, as soon as that nigga make a move, we 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 on that nigga ass. The son type diesel, the son. I mean, he, he put it in. He ain't no, he ain't no sucker nigga. He he want he a real live. I mean, Brooklyn nigga. So it was like we gonna have to we gonna have to stab this nigga up. But we deaded that shit. That shit got deaded. By my other man and all that, but then eBay went home, and then um I can't remember this nigga name neither, but 
he had a, a, a baby mother. One of his baby mother family, they ain't like him because they was what's the niggas um out of the Bronx that no they from Harlem I think the Trinitarios or some shit like that. You talking about the Dominican gang? Yeah. His baby mother family, all all her family was them niggas, and they ain't like him. So son came to me one day. He was like, yo, yo, you heard about the nigga that got shot up in Coney Island in, in the elevator and all that? I'm like, yeah, why, what's up? He was like, yo, that's eBay. I was like, fuck are you talking about, that's eBay. He was like, yeah, so he said certain real name. Now, I ain't no certain real name at the time. So I'm like, oh, shit. So um, come find out that shit was true. One day I seen a nigga eBay. This is way after he got shot. I was just gonna ask you, like, when he was on the island with you, was that before he had got clapped? Got- nah, nah, that's be- yeah, that's before. Yeah, he got hit. He got, got clapped he got up. Marlboro. Yeah, he got. After he left, after he got, after he left me, and all that, I, I can't remember if I left. If they sent me to the three building before he left, or. After I can't remember. Well, you know, but, um, son, you know, niggas, you know, you know, son. I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. Like, you know, everybody, you know, everybody was saying son got killed when he got hit up in the elevator. So literally, because you know, I was in yeah, green yeah. with eBay. We was in, we always in green with eBay. Yeah. And then eBay was in Queensboro with me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me, yeah, him, D, nice, Black C, like it was, it was yeah. mad of us in Queensboro. But when I heard that eBay got hit up in that elevator, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I literally, you know, I shed a tear when niggas said son was dead, right? Oh. I shed a tear, like, I mean, we, yeah. I mean, so yeah, I thought he was dead too. My shit sleep, my nigga, like 7.30 in the morning, one, one morning, right? And my phone ring, and I'm half sleep, but I answer the phone. So when I answer the phone, I'm like, hello? He like, yo, son, what up? Lotus, what up? So I'm like, who this? He like, it's eBay. So like, I thought I was dreaming. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, eBay? He like, eBay, nigga, from LG. I said, I said, yo, who the fuck is this playing on my jack early in the morning like this? No fucking place. His son is me, nigga. I said, son, what the fuck you talking about, nigga? I heard you was dead. You understand what I'm saying? He yeah. like, nah, my son. He like, I let niggas believe that, my nigga. I put that room out myself, my nigga. He said, I let niggas believe that, my nigga. Now I mean, but I was in the hospital laid up for, for mad long, my nigga. And he said, well, I was in the hospital. I used to keep seeing you. I kept seeing your videos on Video Music Box. I used to be watching Ralph McDaniels. I used to be seeing your shit popping up. He's like, yo, that's my son. He said, I said, he said when I get out the hospital, I got to holler at this nigga. You feel me? And son, I hollered at him. That's his son. Nigga, I done shed a tear for you, nigga. He said, yo, I'm to my fault, son. My fault. I couldn't let niggas know I survived that shit. You feel me? And then yeah. months after that, my nigga, you know what I mean? I heard niggas was in custody and all of that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Or maybe not months after that, but the next time I heard, I heard niggas was in custody and all of that. And that shit was crazy. I didn't even know niggas was into, allegedly into half of the shit niggas was allegedly in. You feel me? Yeah, me neither. I knew he was. I knew he was fucking with son, but I didn't know it was deep, deep like that. You know what I mean? But son had called me, and that shit blew my fucking mind, nigga. I thought I was speaking to a nigga from my from the afterlife. Yeah, and he's like, that's crazy. Fault. He's like, nah, my fault, son. I, I I put that room out. I said, damn, bro. Yeah, he had to, cause niggas is definitely trying to off him. But I seen the nigga. I was coming. I was coming from downtown Brooklyn. That's when I was still living in the um, Bushwick with my baby mother. I was on the bus and I was passing by LG. And I'm like, I'm like, hold the fuck up. And I'm like you, cause I heard son was gone. And this is my first time seeing son. So I'm I'm in the window and I'm looking and I'm, I'm like, Yo, that is my fucking nigga. So I ring the bell. I made the bus driver stop and all that. Like, like, let me out right here, my nigga. So he let me off the bus. I ran up on son. Son was with mad LG niggas. I ran up on him anyway. Son turned around. 
Them niggas started gripping and all that. Son turned around, he's like, nah, that's my, oh. So me and son started politicking. Son drove me home and all that. He said niggas started gripping when he went, when you. Yeah, gripping. niggas started gripping when I ran up on son. That's crazy. I'm like, well, I'm like, he was like, yo, son. I'm like, yo, son. I, he was like, yeah, son, niggas, niggas tried to finish me in the elevator. He was like, but they killed this little man. I was like, damn. But yeah, son, I, like, this is it's crazy. Like, we got mad niggas that we, we done lost coming home. Like, I never got to see the nigga Trey Deuce. Yeah, I never, I never saw Trey Deuce in the streets either, man. That same time, my, like, right before he got killed, my cousin Maya got killed. What year was that when Maya got killed? 99. That's right, he got killed on so um, the summer. Home, right? So was like, yeah, like literally, like I came with came home April. Son got killed fourth of July weekend. But remember son was in son came to um he was in Green with us for like Yeah, he wasn't in I think a I, few months. When I came to Green, he had just left, I think. Oh, yeah, son had son was in Green with us for a few months. And he got into it with his baby mother on the visiting floor. She spit in his face and that nigga wilded out on him. Oh, where and he packed son up? Yeah, right on. They took that nigga straight to the box from the visiting floor. Damn. And he went back to the cat? I don't know where he went after that. What block son was, what, what block son was from in the sky again? From Gates Ave. He lived right across the street from me. Gates and what? Gates between Lewis and, and, and Sumner. Well, Sumner, Marcus Garvey now. Wait. Mm. Yeah, son lived right across the street from me. I had a few cousins that lived across the street from me. But yeah, yeah. son, son got killed. I was going back, I was going back over there almost every day. This particular day, we let the Spanish kid in, he playing, and, and son's just whooping our ass. Yeah, he was a young nigga? Yeah, he was a young nigga, like, I mean, he was, he wasn't, he was a little younger than us. You said like y'all, years. you said y'all was playing poker? Yeah, yeah, playing poker. So we got all type of, different type of games going on in the poker. Shit you never heard of the Michael Jordan and niggas making up shit as we go along and shit like that. So this nigga, he, he busts my ass or whatever. So a few niggas done left. So it's like me, him, nigga bitch. We going back and forth, whatever, whatever. So then now it's just me and him. We going head up. So the nigga got me at like 200, 250, 300. So then the nigga Vic comes in, he's standing there. So I went a few more hands, nigga Vic like, yo, let me take over. I'm like, all right. So I let the nigga Vic take over, I go to the yard. It's called yard, I go to the yard and all that. So I'm back from the yard, this nigga Vic up, the nigga owed like 1200. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What Vic, you talking, you talking about big Vic? Yeah. Big tall Vic? Yeah, from from Delaware. <laughs> you said you nigga. you said you went to the yard and came back and son was what? Back. Come back, this nigga owed oh, this nigga twelve hundred. I'm like, yo, Vic, what the fuck? <laughs> so he like, yo, I'm like, let me take over. So I take over. So now I'm betting two, three hundred at a time, trying to get this shit down. This shit ain't going down. This shit going up. So now we, I'm, I'm at like 6,000, my oldest nigga. Nigga Vic come back in, take over again. I leave out, come back. Nigga Vic, older nigga like 12,000. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So now I'm betting, now I'm betting, we, I'm betting 500 to 1,000 uh, hands. I went like one hand, this nigga went like four in a row. Went a hand, this nigga went like another four. So when we got to 20, I'm like, yo, I quit, my nigga. Like, we, 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 I'm like, I quit. 
So I go in the dorm. Nigga Vic like, yo, then you got it down? Like, fuck you mean I got it down? We owe this nigga like 20,000. Nigga, fuck are you talking about? Got it down. Nigga, we up crazy. So nigga Vic like, what? He like, yo. Nigga Vic said, yo. I ain't paying that nigga. You paying him? I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck, I look like paying a nigga 20,000 in jail, nigga. Where the fuck I'm gonna get 20,000 to pay this nigga from? <laughs> I ain't paying 20, I ain't paying half of that. What? I'm like, well, you, you crazy? He was like, yo. All right, fuck it. We're gonna have, we, we gotta tell this nigga, we ain't paying him. But now we got an old Spanish nigga in, 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 in the crib named Papo. Papo Latin King. So we, we go get Papo, tell Papo, call the nigga in the bathroom. So we go in the bathroom. I don't speak no English, so Papo translated. So we're like, yo, Papo, tell this nigga, like, he dead on that 20. Niggas ain't paying him. So, nigga, Papo translate that. So the nigga face got like, like he wanted to do something. But if he did this, knowing like, all right, if I do something right now, these niggas gonna like beat the blood out of me. So son ain't do nothing. He took it, we walked out. Like that night, next day, he's been trying to go get, he's trying to get something from Pop, like a few other niggas. There was only like five, maybe six Spanish niggas in the whole house. So he tried to run around, get a burner, something from one of them niggas. No, nobody would give him nothing. He tried to go get something from Papo. Papo told that nigga, listen, you gotta handle that shit on your own, my nigga. I ain't giving you shit. Word got back to me and Vic that the nigga was trying to get that. Told nigga Papo, listen, that's your man and all that. Son got to pack up, you got to go. Papo told him, nigga, listen, you got to pack up. So son packed up. Got the fuck up out of there. Word, niggas wasn't paying that 20, my nigga. Like, I don't know how the fuck niggas get to owe a nigga 20 stacks in the pen over poker. First of all, a nigga ain't even supposed to let you owe him that much. Word the mother. And, and that, he should have just been like, all right, bro, yeah, let's cut just this. Give me let's, 100, 200. Just give me your word the mother and let's just call this shit even. Yeah. Real not, talk. First, I'm not letting a nigga owe me $1,000 in the pen. The most you going to owe me, nigga, in poker... Is a hundred dollars. That's it. Straight up, cause it's gonna it's, get, cre it's gonna turn into something. It's gonna turn into something. And even if you owe me a hundred, if I know you like that, I'm like, son, you know, you know, I don't want no fucking hundred dollars from you. Give me fifty dollars. You know what I mean? Half that in commissary this time. Half that next time you go to commissary. I'm like, son, you, 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 you even son said we owe twelve hundred. I said twelve hundred. I'm like, nigga, I left you, it was only 200. He's like, yeah, I thought it'd been 50, 100, 75. I'm like, come on, nigga. I took over. That nigga Vic came back in. We went 1,200. Man, we owe this nigga six grand. I come back. This nigga take over. I come back in. This nigga say, we owe the nigga 12,000. I'm like, what? I take over. I stopped at 20. I mean, nigga wasn't going to get none of that anyway. Nigga said they got to pack up, bro. Nigga yeah, said you yeah, got to yeah. get the fuck out of here. What he did? Went to another dorm? I, I, don't, I don't, yo, tell the truth, I don't know. I don't know if the niggas got, I don't know if he went to, I've never seen that nigga again. Nigga said they got to I don't know if he went to the other side or nothing. But I know ain't nothing never become of it. Like, ain't no. Let me tell you why I don't fucking gamble, son, in the pen. When I was, when I first came to the pen, when I was like 17, I bet on the Knicks game, right? I can't remember who the Knicks was playing, but I bet this kid on, on this nigga, he was way older than me. I was like 17, 18. The nigga was like 35 years old. So I, <laughs> I, I bet the nigga four packs. I bet him four packs or something like that on a Knicks game. The Knicks game, the Knicks won. So the nigga, nigga was like, all right, boom. So then the nigga hits me he like, yo, the such and such game is coming on. Bet that back. So I'm like, bro, I don't bet on nobody but the Knicks. 
Like I, I don't bet on no next team. Like I, I don't feel comfortable betting on no next team, especially right. the team that you, especially the team the that you want to pick the first. You want to pick first on the team. You feel what I'm saying? And leave me with the underdog team. Like nah, my nigga, I can't do that. So the nigga was like, "I right, nigga, then you dead." You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm a kid. I don't even know how to, I never even got in this type of situation before. Nigga yeah. like, yo, nigga like, all right, you dead. So I was like, dad? I said, nigga, you better have my motherfucking four packs of cigarettes when commissary come next week or it's going to be a fucking problem. You understand what I'm saying? But this nigga's a grown ass man, son. You feel what I'm saying? I'm a, so I'm like this, damn, what I got my, so he like, nigga, I said, you. he laughing at me. Like it's a game. Like he ain't. He not even want some. What up, nigga? I'll stab you up or nothing. Like he like this, nigga. You dead. That's it, nigga. You ain't getting paid. So I was like, all right. So my son. Now my. So one of my sons that was I was in the dorm with. The nigga tell you like, yo, what happened, son? Like he seen me beefing with the nigga. I said this nigga owe me four packs. Talk him out. He ain't gonna pay. You understand what I'm saying? So my nigga. My nigga is like. My nigga is like. Son, word to my mother. If that nigga don't mind, my son. Also a nigga that's like 35 years old He like son that's my word son If that nigga don't pay you son I'ma bang that nigga the fuck up In this house You understand what I'm saying son, my, my nigga was playing cards with this nigga Every day Going to chow with the nigga Going to the yard with the nigga I'm like yo this nigga is greasy And, and, every, and he still he giving me the wink like this He walking with the nigga the chow Giving me the wink like <laughs> then a nigga come up to my cube like, remember nigga, this nigga don't have that motherfucking money. He don't have that packed in the next two days, nigga. He gonna get killed in this motherfucking dorm. I'm like, damn. Son, that nigga came and paid. He must have knew the vibes, you heard? Yeah, that nigga came yeah. and paid me them, them four pack. He like, hey nigga. Hey nigga, take your money. I said, yeah nigga. You owe me my money. It is my money. You understand what I'm saying? And then the funny right. shit is, then the, then the funny shit is, that same nigga who was supposed to be G.O.D. and all of that Nigga started fucking with a dude He started fucking with a dude in the dorm And I saw that nigga not too long ago That's my word I was driving through Lower East Side And I saw that nigga He was walking with a crackhead broad And I caught I, I, put, I rolled my window down a little bit And I just yelled out that nigga name <laughs> That nigga was looking around all over the place Bum ass nigga I was like you bum ass nigga I just drove off like fuck out of here You know what I mean I was like you I was like you derelict ass nigga Nigga was walking through the streets like a derelict I like this nigga was the nigga up north Trying to talk about he wasn't gonna pay me My son My son was gonna put that steel in that nigga nigga